this is Pastor Keith here at First Presbyterian Church. I'm super excited to get to be doing Godly Play With You again. I had so much fun doing it in the spring, and I know this fall is also going to be a lot of fun. So we'll get started, and we'll do our liturgy. So I'll say, welcome to this special place to be with God and to hear the stories of God. Let us worship God together. In our greeting, the, the Lord be with you, and you say, and also with you. Okay, now it's time for our story today. We have this to help us get started. I'm not sure what it is yet, but I'm sure we'll find out. This is all we've got, so let's get started with it. When God had created everything, God had declared all of it good. God said that it was very good. But people then began to do bad things, and this made God very sad. So God decided to send water, lots and lots of rain, and cover the earth so that everything God had created would be wiped away, the earth would be cleansed, and everything would start over again. But God noticed one family who was doing good. And the man in the family was named Noah, and he had a wife, Nama. And they had three sons, and each of those sons had wives. And God walked and talked with Noah, and God got so close with Noah that Noah knew what God wanted him to do. God told Noah to build an ark, a big giant boat because God was going to send rain and flood the earth. So Noah built an ark. And on the ark, God told Noah to put animals, two of every animal. They came from all the corners of the earth, the north, the south, east and west and they all came to the ark and then they got on the ark and then Noah and his family got on the ark too. Then God shut the door to the ark and the rains began to come. And it rained and it rained and it rained and it rained for 40 days and 40 nights. And the ark began to rise with the waters that covered the earth. And everything that wasn't on the ark was washed away. But then eventually the rain stopped and the ark continued to float around for months and months. And then it came to rest on the top of a mountain. God and told Noah to send out a dove to see if there was land for them to get out on. And the first time the dove came back and they didn't have anything with it. There was no land for them to get out on yet. Then God sent out the dove. Then Noah sent out the dove the second time. This time it came back with an olive branch 
that it had gotten from a tree, and it brought that olive branch to Noah. And then finally Noah sent out the dove a third time, and it never came back, because it had found a new home. It was now safe for everyone to get out of the ark. So that's what they did. Noah and his wife and his family got out of the ark. And all the animals went all around the earth. Noah and his family built an altar to God, thanking God for their safety and for bringing them through the floods and the ark. And then God put a bow in the sky. We call them rainbows. And God promised that every time we see the bow in the sky, we can know that God will never send rain to destroy the earth again. I wonder what Noah was feeling whenever God told him to build a big giant boat. I wonder what it was like to be in the ark for so long with all those animals and not a whole lot of room. I wonder what it must have felt like when the dove brought back the branch and when they could finally leave the ark. I wonder where we might be in this story. Where do we find ourselves in the story of Noah and the ark? I wonder if there's any part of the story that we could take out and the story would remain the same. I wonder if there's anything that we think might be missing. Thank you for joining me for Godly Play this week. It was a lot of fun. I can't wait to do it again with you. We look forward to seeing you all again sometime in the future. We miss seeing you in person, and we're looking forward to when we can do it again safely. Stay safe, stay healthy. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord be kind and gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and grant you peace. Bye, everyone.